What is up YouTube, Luca here with another PvP build, I'm on my Stamina Dragonite with two new sets. The first one called Griffin's Reprisal drops in Coral Airy. It took me over 12 hours to get this mall by the way. When you do critical damage, you and Anna can activate the Griffin's Reprisal, so a synergy. You have 8 seconds time, causing a small Griffin to fly by. As I know, it's unblockable and undodgeable and deal 22.8k bleed damage over 10 seconds within 5 meters, even a small AoE. And this is unbuffed by the way, the tooltip. Pretty strong front bar dot proc set. Back bar, what else? Rallying Cry, probably my favorite back bar set in this patch. It gives almost 300 weapon spell damage and 1.6k crit resistance for 20 seconds and it is no cooldown the only condition is critical healing super easy then one trainee for extra hp one mana cut as smithing item and magma incarnate as monster set i'm on three heavy pieces two impen one well fitted and four sturdy with Red and Cry we already have enough uh, crit resistance. Then full infused on the jewelry. I have one stun region because I play a lot of battlegrounds. Then Maul in sharpened with the Berserker Glyph. And back bar Nirn sturdy with the escapist poisons. Full prismatic on the body which is kind of necessary for this build because I use Molten Whip as spammable instead of Dizzy Swing. Less damage, the tooltip is lower, but you can empower it with Seething Fury, which is easy with Noxious Breath and the Venomous Claw. You just have to use uh, three Ardent Flame abilities, which empowers the Molten Whip by 33%, and it gives you 225 weapon and spell damage on top. And it's not a cast ability like Dizzy Swing. Then Executioner still. Noxious Breath for Major Breach, Venomous Claw, you can also play Burning Embers now for extra healing, but I still prefer Venomous Claw for more damage, Rally as Burst Heal, Take Flight as Ultimate, Back Bar, exactly the same for Mana Shield for Major Mending and Minor Berserk, thanks to Mountain's Blessing, 10% extra weapon damage, Race Against Time, our Snare Removable, Resolving Vigor, Hardened Armor and Cauterize, Alternative uh, Flames of Oblivion is possible too for more damage, and Corrosive Armor as Defensive and Offensive Ultimate. But I mainly use the Spare Ward to be honest. Then Race, I'm not for extra resistance, Max Stamina, Ulti Region, and Max HP. Moonstone, the Atronarch, otherwise it would be probably hard to sustain Molten Whip and the other 4 magic abilities in total have 5, Molten Whip, from Energy Shield, Race Against Time, Hardened Armor and Cauterize, so Magicka region is necessary, that's why I also used Ozoga's uh, buff food, which increased max HP, health recovery, stamina and Magicka recovery, necessary. Attribute points 40 in health and 24 in stamina. Potions for downs, the normal tricep potions. CP, steady aim, master at arms, ironclad into a 3 buff. Red ones, sustain per suffering, pain refuge, celerity and slippery. Now I will leave you with some battlegrounds gameplay footage. Before the video starts, don't forget to sub my channel, leave a like and a comment below. It's for free, it really helps and I would really appreciate it guys. See you in the next video. Ciao.
I'm gonna make the time move. 